This is Linda's third birthday. Uh, that is uh, uh, Libby Rose's daughter on the left. That is uh, Dorothy Nichols' little boy on the right, Mac. There we are with the candles. One gone, two to go. There is Mrs. Jean Worley and dishing out the cake. Her little boy, Jean Worley. And Linda always had difficulty with that bow. <laughs> A Patty Nichols. I'm almost sure that is, with the two bows. And there is Marjorie Jenkins with Beth. Beth was born in January. So this makes her two months old. And there is Lyra Thomas, obviously stealing the show. <laughs> this is Easter of 47. They're having the Easter egg hunt out in the backyard at 30th Place. It was always cold and quite a problem to, to show that Easter dress. Patty Nichols. Then the bird used to wrinkle up her nose. The John Gordes were lovely. The first thing that came out. Her idea of throwing a kiss. Dr. Reed frequently came over and joined us. And usually there were some of his grandchildren there to hunt eggs or to play with the children. Uh, because during the war, his um, married daughter, Olive, would return with uh, quite a flock of attractive children to live with her father for months at a time while her husband was overseas. Here she is, sliding, uh, a very dangerous procedure, down the driveway. Sitting against, uh, with one of Dr. Reed's grandchildren, against a lovely display of climbing roses on his fence that divided his yard from ours. more on the back porch. That back porch saw a lot of living. There's Ruth Taylor, who came up and visited us uh, when uh, Lucy was born in July of 47. And here is Lucy. I think she's just a few weeks old. Uh, she began life happy. Happy and plump, although she only weighed seven pounds and two ounces because she had small bones, uh, she was quite plump, whereas Linda Bird, at seven pounds, seven ounces, had been very lean and hungry. And there is uh, Linda surveying, uh, not quite certain what she thinks about. But willing to give her a try. She had the hiccups. And here we are, Halloween. It was always a big occasion in the backyard at Dillman. There's Lindenberg, a pirate, 
Kathleen of those. Lindbergh at three was a fearsome pirate. And the costume was always a big thing to plan for. There's Kathleen at the refreshment table. I love making the pumpkin centipede. And there's Aunt Lucy, for whom Lucy Baines was named. She's holding that little chublet. Lucy was an onlooker that year. But from then on, she was a big part of the Halloween party. Lucy was a pretty baby by that time. There's Linda and the little Smith girl and Kathleen. And there's that barbecue pit that Nellie and I had such a time getting made in one week's time. And Christy Bolton. There were usually about a, a dozen of the children of our friends. And there are two little Kellum girls. They are playing pin the tail on the donkey. It happened year after year. And there were always mamas helping out. That's Nita Louise with the tail. And there on the left is Marjorie and Sugar Pickle on the right. And there's Rose Gross with her baby. You see, there's a playpen for somebody's small child. And there I am with Lucy. And I must have handed the camera to someone who moves it too fast. There's Nellie Conley. Just because it's named movie camera, they think you're supposed to move the, the camera, not the subject. And Rose and her child. It was General Bedlam. I look as happy as I am. <laughs> A hammock was a big part of our lives, even in those days. There were several of them in the backyard at Gilman. One always belonged to Lyndon. Now the party's over. How we did love that place. Twelve or more years of good times there. This is Linda's fourth birthday party, 1948. There's little Lyra Thomas. And I believe that's Hunter Minnick. And there's Alice Hopkins, Mrs. Willie Hopkins, cutting the cake. And the, there's a pensive little girl with blonde hair that we'll see in a minute. It's Marta Miller, I believe. There's Lucy. It was a little girl up the street who was her great friend. And she'd come to see her and, and, and just carry her around all the time. There's Marta. And little Kellen Hopkins is somewhere around. And there's Patty Nichols with her back to us. And now it's a cold Easter, and there's Lyra Thomas. She was always dressed up, always very feminine. Poor Lindbergh, alas, had on a gray jacket that was no compliment to her mother's management. <laughs> The little backyard at 30th Place. Oh, we did a lot of things in it for fun. There's Lyndon helping Linda Bird. And Leela Clark is down from Smith, spending the weekend with us. See the eternal feminine, the feather on that bonnet. In spring, like every family in Washington, we had visitors. Lyndon's favorite cousin, Margaret Johnson Kimball, and our daughter Margaret Ann and Leela. We go sightseeing, and it's cherry blossom time, and so we at the Tidal Basin. There the three of them are. That's Margaret Ann. And that's Margaret Johnson, with whom Lyndon grew up in Johnson City, his, his dearest favorite in his young days. And there's Leela with Linda Bird.
What would the makers of film do without children and flowers and politicians? In the late summer of 48, Lucy was a little over one year old, toddling around in the backyard. I believe that Zephyr feeding her. It was never hard to get her to eat or drink. And in a minute, you're going to see another favorite article of diet that's not on the doctor's prescribed list. We lived in the backyard. Lucy was a long time getting any hair. That is her little cousin, Josephus' child, Rodney. There's Lucy's uncertain steps. And there's Lucy with a favorite drink. If you didn't watch her, when the party was over, she'd go around picking up everybody's empty bottles to see if there was a sip left. 